Story wise makes me wise. <laughs> there is no one like me. I have got lots and lots of treasures. All the gods and demigods must come and see my wealth. Then they will realize my power. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a demigod named Kuber. Kuber was known for having heaps of treasures and mountains of money. He was so proud and boastful that he couldn't resist of showing it off to everyone he met. Once, he wanted to impress all the gods and demigods. So he thought of a grand plan. He decided to throw the most extravagant dinner party that would have endless food. He invited all the gods and demigods, even Lord Shiva and his divine family were on the guest list. When Kuber met Lord Shiva, he said, Lord Shiva, I have come here to invite you, Devi Parvati, Lord Kartikeya and Lord Ganesha to the grand dinner party. Lord Shiva smiled and said, Well, certainly we will attend your dinner party. Lord Ganesha said, May I know? What the occasion is though? To which Kuber replied boastfully, I don't have to wait for any occasion to throw the party as I can do it anytime I want to because I have lots and lots of treasures. So I decided to throw this dinner party. Lord Ganesha asked, May I ask? What is so special about your dinner party? To which Lord Kuber replied boastfully, Lord Ganesha, it's going to be a big and special feast for everyone. And not only that, you all can eat as much as you want. Lord Ganesha chuckled and said, Lord Kuber, are you sure of what you are saying? Would you have enough food for me? I have a big tummy. What if you would run out of food? Lord Kuber replied boastfully. Look Lord Ganesha, you will be amazed to see the grand arrangements and the delicacies. I promise that I will never run out of food and you will have enough food to eat. You must certainly come and I am sure you will be surprised. Lord Shiva sensed that Lord Kuber's pride is becoming too much to handle. As Kuber left, Lord Shiva said, Lord Ganesha, you are the Lord of Wisdom and I am sure you must have noticed Lord Kuber's invitation is not out of love or devotion but out of pride. I would wish you make him realize that. Lord Ganesha said, I totally agree with you Lord Shiva. I will make sure that Lord Kuber learns a lesson that it is not wise to be full of pride and so boastful. As evening fell, all the guests arrived at the magnificent mansion of Lord Kuber to attend the grand dinner party. Lord Shiva was accompanied by Lord 
Kartikeya, Kartikeya, Devi Parvati and Lord Ganesha made their entrance. Lord Kuber made a proud announcement. Welcome everyone. The dinner is served. I have made the arrangements for all the delicacies for all of you. And you can have as much as you want. So please enjoy the feast to the fullest. Everyone started eating, including Lord Ganesha. As night went on, all the gods and demigods finished their meal and departed. But Lord Ganesha just kept on eating and eating and eating. His hunger knew no bounds. Lord Kubir's pride turned to worry now as he started running out of food. He thought to himself, how much food Lord Ganesha is eating? What do I do if the food will get over? As I promised and I boasted in front of everyone that I will have enough food for everyone. It is going to be very humiliating. What do I do now? Out of desperation, Lord Kuber approached Lord Shiva for help and said, Lord Shiva, please help me. Please help me. Tell me what do I do to satiate Lord Ganesha's hunger. As I promised him that I will never run out of food. But now my food supplies are decreasing rapidly. Please tell me, please help me Lord Shiva. With a knowing smile, Lord Shiva handed Kuber a special container filled with magical water and said, Lord Kuber, offer this water to Lord Ganesha. Lord Kuber followed Lord Shiva's guidance and offered the same water to Lord Ganesha. As soon as Lord Ganesha took a sip of it, his insatiated hunger was quenched and it was like a miracle. This made Kuber learn a valuable lesson. And he said to Ganesh, Lord Ganesha, you made me realize my mistake. Thank you. Thank you so much for opening my eyes. Now I understood the importance of humility. I will no longer be boasting about my wealth and possession. Lord Ganesha smiled at Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva smiled back at Lord Ganesha for handling this situation so wisely. Thereafter, Lord Kuber stopped boasting about his wealth and possession. Instead, he chose to be modest and kind-hearted. So children, this story teaches us a lesson. Yes. It's not a good idea to brag or show off one's possession or wealth to everyone. Instead, we should try to be humble like Lord Ganesha, who gently showed Lord Kuber the perils of pride and importance of humility and kindness. Story wise makes me wise.